Yes, good evening to everybody. Welcome to the today class and today that I am going to deal the sovereign immunity, the defenses available to the state, how far the immunity would be there. Now the immunity is narrowed down, already increased. Let me see in detail in this class. Yes, uh, anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. I said, anyone can unmute and read what I posted on the screen. Good evening, sovereign immunity, Professor Dr. Muhammad Saeed Hussain, state immunity, meaning, definition, explanation. But other things you could not see in proper way. Now you can see it. Yes. Yes, read. Read. Sir, no, I can't see it, sir. Anyone? No. No, I magnified it. To... I magnified it. So, Anyone can read. Okay, okay. Defense to sovereign immunity. Every state exercises sovereign power in its territory. In performing its functions, it enjoys sovereign immunity. This sovereign immunity is necessary for its existence and functions. The sovereign immunity is available for the exercise of sovereign powers only. Maintenance of law and order, service of defense forces, administration of justice, etc. are considered to be the sovereign functions. The sovereign immunity is not available for the torts committed by its servants in exercise of non-sovereign powers. The employees of the state must exercise the sovereign functions legally. If they violate the law, their act cannot be treated as an act of sovereign function and hence no sovereign immunity. Yes, sir. Here, the defense of immunity, how it turns and how it plays, let us see. Every state, how many states are there in India? Why are you are taking so much time? 29, how, many, how many states are there in India? 29, sir. But why are you are taking that much time to say? Is it a tough question? No, sir. Which is the last state? Telangana, sir. State of Telangana. Yes. State of Telangana. So every state means uh, either uh, whatever the name, I mean, including some sometimes a union territory also having the immunity. Of course, uh, of course, there is administration different. And sovereign power in the here, sovereign power. Yes, in the territory. So performing its function, it enjoys, it enjoys the sovereign immunity. The sovereign immunity is necessarily for its existence and function. Without state is like an individual. It doesn't mean that state is an individual. I repeat, no doubt a state can be sued like an individual, but it doesn't mean that state is an individual because state is a juridic personality. It is a legal entity. It is having certain powers. It is having certain immunities. Okay, the sovereign immunity is available for the exercise of the sovereign powers only. So maintenance of law and order, it is a sovereign power. Services of the defense forces, it is a sovereign power. Administration of justice, it is a sovereign power and are considered to be the sovereign functions. The sovereign immunity is not available for the torts committed by the servants in exercise of the non-sovereign powers. So, whenever the employees, those who are employed by the state, if they are doing any non-sovereign functions, at that instance, a state is like an individual, it would be held liable. The employees of the state must exercise the sovereign functions legally. If they violate the law, their act cannot be treated as an act of sovereign function and hence, no sovereign immunity would be available to them. So that is the actually the gist of today's uh, defense uh, to sovereign immunity. Let me see in, uh, in length. A sovereign immunity is a legal doctrine by which the sovereign or the state cannot commit a legal wrong and it is immune from the civil suit or criminal's prosecution. But again, I told you, because a state is now functioning even a, even a trade business, even a mercantile, even because of the social welfare state, it can deal the construction, 
it can do other commercial functions also like uh, selling the milk who is selling the milk government state government what is the name of the government uh, autonomous body which is selling the milk in telangana sar heritage it is a private yes vijaya vijaya palu yes that is why telangana state dairy development corporation not maskati those who are staying in the hyderabad they know the maskati because he is also having a private dairy farm so now let us see the old and archaic concept of the sovereign immunity that the king can do no wrong the king can do no wrong can you tell me what is the equivalent terminology in latin yesterday i have told many times rex, rex, rex non protest pecar rex, rex non protest pecar hey. king can do no wrong still haunts us where the state claims immunity for its tortious acts and denies compensation to the aggrieved party now let us see something sovereign immunity is a, a justification for a wrong committed by the state or its representative seemingly based on the grounds of public policy thus even when all the elements of the actionable claims is presented are presented liability can be avoided by the giving the justification so the doctrine of sovereign immunity is based on the common law principle borrowed from the british jurisprudence that king commits no wrong and he can't be guilty of the personal negligence or misconduct as such can't be responsible for the negligence or misconduct of his servants another aspect of this doctrine is that it was an attribute of sovereignty that a state cannot be sued in its own courts without its consent of course the state officers like a judicial officers you cannot sue them because judicial protection act will protect them and if any police constable by the order of the higher authority make uh, the unruly mob to the ruly mob he can does uh, he can do the lachi charge and later on the vapors he can explode it uh, that is uh, or after that one if the orders comes they they will fire in the sky later on they fire in the towards uh, shooting at the earth later on they try to you know, raise the nozzle so that was the shooting the way they, they have to do it so i told you that in my last class the law commission of india the first law commission of india and it tried its level best i will show you that uh, what the first law commission said here because yesterday i could not make it out see the law commission of india the first report liability of the state in tort have you seen it is it visible yes sir yes sir government of india ministry of law it is made the chairman law commission new delhi 1956 they made a report they said like crown proceeding of 1946 47 and uh, Uh, that the federal court tort claim of the 1946 there should be sudden act should be made where the state will be held liable for the tortious acts of their employee but till today the, there is no such a law would be made because no one wants to cut their own leg with his own acts did you get my point did you yes, get sir. my point <laughs> yes that is the reason that is why they, they did not make it out so let us see that how we can do so earlier i used to told you i told you that 1825 government of india act of 1913 then 1935 then 1875 also there and because the east india company came to india for trading purpose but slowly slowly they have taken the sovereignty and they made the loss over here so uh, after the independence I and mean, after getting the constitution effectively the article 300 will clearly makes it is that uh, a distinction between the sovereign and non sovereign functions was maintained in relation to the principle of immunity of the government for the tortious acts of its servants 
in india there is no legislation i told you just now in india there is no legislation which governs the liability of the state only decided cases it is the article 300 of the constitution of india 1950 which specifies the liability of the union or the state with respect to an act of the government so it already cleared before that one government of india 1935 is there yes somebody is speaking please mute under section 176 of the government of india also there are provisions then the government of india act of 1915 also there are provisions the government of india act of 1858 also there are provisions which says about we can sue the government if if the government has negligently did any act so now by the virtue of the article 300 of the constitution of india now we can sue the state government as well as we can sue the central government state government how do you sue what is the title use for the suing the state government yes tell me sorry sir pass on see we told you the earlier before that were nagiredi versus state of andhra pradesh we read you the case la challa ramkoda ramakrishna reddy versus state of andhra pradesh because at the time but now if any case would be there then so and so versus state of andhra pradesh telangana earlier we used to say the andhra pradesh now we should say the telangana telangana yes yeah, suppose we want to sue the central government government of india union of india Union of India. Can you tell me there one or two cases? Example. Example. Sauban Sauban versus Union of India. Repeat. Sauban versus Union of India. What is that? Sauban case. Sir. Say loudly. Spelling. Sauban. S H A B A N O Sauban. I, I did not catch you. That what you are saying. The carbide union of India. Union carbide versus union of India. The MLA case. MLA case. Beam Singh. Beam Singh versus state of Jammu and Kashmir. Then yesterday I told you the one case la. state of rajasthan 1962 case la vidyavati versus state of rajasthan yes kasturi lal versus state of up very good very good see this is the way you have to remember the things and you also should remember that the facts of here the case law also so by virtue of the 300 now we can sue it and then we can be sued also so that is the same thing said any legal proceedings are pending in which the dominion of india is a party the union of india shall be deemed to be the substituted for the dominion in those proceedings now we will say the union of india for the state respective state name so article 300 provides the first part of the article relates to the way in which suits and proceedings by against the government may be instituted in it acts it acts it enacts that the state may be sued be sued by the name of the union of india and state may sue and be sued in the name of the state again the same thing now we can say the types of the sovereign immunity is there immunity to the jurisdiction that is number one so a state immunity to jurisdiction result from the belief that it would be inappropriate of one's courts state courts to call another state and its jurisdiction therefore state entities are immune from the jurisdiction of the courts of another state means each state is having its own jurisdiction one state cannot encroach on the other state to to implement their laws a jurisdiction so every state is having its own jurisdiction to entertain any case suppose if any case happened in the majira which state of which apex court is having the jurisdiction to entertain the case high court sir which high court is having the jurisdiction to entertain the case if any incident happened in the madira madira comes in the telangana madira comes in the andhra telangana sir andhra comes in the telangana then telangana court 
If it doesn't come in Telangana, what about Jagaya Veda? It comes purely in the Andhra. Andhra. Yes, Satupalli, Telangana. Kodad, Telangana. Vijavada. Sir, we know, sir, because it is a Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Now, so the jurisdiction of the immunity would be there. So the same developing countries may feel more secure submitting the arbitral and the illicitral arbitration the rules which are often considered more culturally neutral than those of the ICC. These are all the international institutions. So they're, they're having the jurisdiction to entertain. So each state is having the jurisdiction to entertain the case. One state cannot encroach on the somebody's jurisdiction. So again, secondly, the immunity from the execution. The state will also immunity from the execution as it would be improper for the courts, uh, one state to seize the property of another state, immunity from the execution may generally be waived. Suppose the immunity also, that high, AP High Court is having their own immunity and the Telangana High Court or the state uh, people having their own immunity power. Of course, the immunity varies from state to state. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Can you sue the governor? No. Answer, no. We cannot sue the governor. We cannot sue the president till he holds the office. Even after the office also, I did not see any case law where it can be sued. But a prime minister can be sued. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, either one day or two days, Indira Gandhi was in jail. Yes, sir. Okay. Journey, the doctrine of sovereign immunity, pre-constitution era, how it can be there, sovereign immunity is there. So, the, in the pre-constitution era, when you say the sovereign immunity, the, uh, the first and foremost case law, which would be on your tip of tongue is? P&O Navigation Company. P and o Navigational yes, Company, Secretary of India, State of India. So, that is the first and foremost case law in the pre Constitution era. Of course, after that one, let us come to the post independence era, which is the first case law. I told Nobin you. Already, 1962 case law. State of Rajasthan, State of Rajasthan, State of Rajasthan, State of Rajasthan versus Vidyavati. Vidyavati. Suppose State of Rajasthan versus Vidyavati is the first case law because the state went to the appeal to the Supreme Court. But the Supreme Court said, getting the jeep from the repair, it is not an immunity function, it is an ordinary function, hence state like an individual liable. Mm. So that is the case law. But in the 1965, that is the Malkhana, the police constable took away the jewelry, gold jewelry, and absconded and went for Pakistan. What is the name of the case law? I intentionally kept it in the screen. I want to see whether you could observe it or not. <laughs> That's my intention. So, Kasturi Lal versus State of UP, it is the FX court took a different view. The entire situation embroiled the confusion. So, now the Supreme Court followed the rule which is bypassed now. It is Bypassed now. Bypassed. Yes, and now they are following the same P and O same navigational case because dockyard repairing is uh, can be done by the individual. Hence, uh, repairing can also be done by the individuals, but not in the state function. Getting the jeep from the garage to the collector office. So, in practice, the distinction between the act done in the exercise of the sovereign function and that done in the non-sovereign function would not be so easy and is liable to create a considerable difficulty for the courts. Of course, courts is very much enough. If the high handedness of the police would be there, they definitely, if the ultra-virus act is done by the state or police or any other authority, then definitely the state would be held liable to pay the compensation. The court distinguished the decision of the Vidyavati case and is involved in the activity which can said to be the referable and ultimately based on the delegation of the government power of the state. On the other hand, Kasturilal case uh, to arrest, search and seize our power characterized by sovereign powers. Finally, the court expressed that law in this regard is unsatisfactory. That's why the Kasturilal case was bypassed because 
the decision is un unsatisfactory and the remedy to cure the opposition lies in the hands of the legislature. So now, the Rudul Shah versus the state of Bihar case law we discussed yesterday. What is the name of the case law? Rudul Shah versus state Rudul of Bihar. State of Bihar. 14 years he was put it in the jail in spite of his uh, acquittal also because of the negligence of the jailer. So he lost the 14 years uh, youth in it. That's why the public interest litigation was filed against uh, the state of Bihar to do such an activity. So a lump sum amount will be awarded to the Rudul Shah. Again, the MLA case already told you, Bhim Singh versus state of... Uh, state of UP, Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir is not a Rajasthan, it is Jammu and Kashmir, J and K. Yeah, the principle laid down the Rudul Shah was further extended to cover the cases of unlawful detention because here also MLA, he was detained without any reason because he's going to attend the uh, legislative sessions because the police will not allow this fellow to go to the, attend the sessions because sometimes uh, in sessions, raising the hand will come. If the raising the hand, if the hands are less, the bill will not be passed. Are you following me? Yes, sir. In a petition under the Article 32, the Apex Court awarded the 50,000 by way of compensation for the wrongful arrest of the detention to the Bhim Singh. So, if anybody wants to file a writ directly in the High Court under Article 226 for the Supreme Court, Article 32, but we have to exhaust the local remedies, then only we have to go to the Supreme Court. The latest case of the, of course, at the time latest, now it is not the latest because state of AP versus Challa Ramakrishna Reddy, Ramakrishna. that is the person who is died in the cell, Jail. yes, in the cell. So instead of telling that there is only two Javans are there for the security guards for the entire prison, but he said there is apprehension for my death and people prepared the grenades and hand bombs in a such a way they are having the small scale industry in their in their respective places. So the Apex Code had that the doctrine of sovereign immunity is no longer valid over there because it's purely the negligence on the part of the government or the state. So slowly, slowly the immunity is uh, um, what is narrowed down. Of course, certain places immunity is there definitely. So. Again, the development, we can say Andhra Pradesh, uh, the, the Challa Ramakrishna Reddy also came in the same fashion. No, no immunity would be there. But in the K. Nagi Reddy versus state of uh, AP, can you remember the case law? K. Nagi Reddy versus state of AP. Yes, what is that case law? Yes, sir. His uh, goods were seized by the uh, customs department. Mm -hmm. The goods... No. Of the Nagendra Na was his. No, no. I will give the hint. Water, percolation, orchard, citrus fruits, high water, roots will be rotten, and no yield. Nagarjuna Sagar project. Adjacent to that, there is an orchard of Nagiredi. And because the seepage was not there, the bunk was not plastered, the most of the water was entered into the orchard, the roots as totally water would be there, the, the yield will be less when the too much water would be there for the orchard, that uh, lemon garden. So he said, CPA should be done. Of course they did it, but it was lost. Okay, but we cannot say that stop the Nagarjun Sagar canal water because it is for the public irrigation purpose, but you are only single person, they could not stop so. Are you following me? Say yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now the question comes over there in the case of the fundamental Maneka Gandhi. So voice will not be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the frequency will be less. You could not see the voice. But when you are recording by voice, it is very much clear. Maneka Gandhi versus Union of India. This is one of the case law. The procedure too should have been fair and reasonable. When you want to impound somebody's passport, there should be procedure should be followed over there. 
The high court held that since the negligence was led to the incident was both unlawful and opposed to the Article 21, and since the statutory concept of the sovereign immunity could not override the constitutional provisions, the claim of the violation of the fundamental rights could not be violated by the statutory immunity. Now, even no one can having the right to take the student's original and retain in the college. Only the management could take original TC. Other thing, if they have taken it, let the after the ratification, they should suppose to return it the all the original certificates. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. An appeal, the state, the Supreme Court dismissed the appeal rule. The maxim that king can do no wrong, of course, not that much now, because king also will be answerable if they committed any any civil wrong. Of course, there is no criminal wrong. The criminal wrong committed by him means personally he committed it, not in the course of the employment. Can a person will done a, a, a rape in the course of the employment? That we discuss the railway board versus Chandrima. Railway board versus Chandrima Das. Chandrima Das case law. So the vicarious liability would be there for the state because the people are appointed not to do the rape. Of course, there are several cases are there because one doctor, that fellow, was uh, raped the sister who was working in the night shift. So the Hospital management will be held liable. Of course, later on, they will take an action against the doctor who did so. So, but in the people who elect their representative to run the government, which has to act in accordance with the provision of the constitution. So, if they are not doing so, they are answerable. So, if you want to file a case in the PIL, then what is the article that you use it? Sir, what is PIL, sir? Public interest litigation. Public interest litigation. In other places, we don't say PIL. What is another name for the PIL? Pill. Pill. Another name for the Pill and Tamir JP Nindi Dadi. Acronym. I say another synonym. Another name for the Pill. PIL. Pill. If you know it, you tell me. If not, so another name is class representative suit class representative suit also we can say in other countries they may follow like uh, here you will say assistant professor but in other country they say lecturer but after assistant professor, they will say in other places reader, but in other places senior lecturer. So there is a another another Japan ladder long tie and age. Majorunta yanti zandi ladder ladder lagu majorunta yanti horizontal ga where you can keep your steps. Yes. Sil. Hmm. Rungs, R U N G, rung. So there are other rung is there from the lecturer to the senior lecturer, senior lecturer to the associate professor, associate professor to the professor. That is the hierarchy. So when you want to file in the High Court, we have to use Article 226, the appeal, the public interest litigation. And when you want to sue, uh, file in the Supreme Court, then Article 32 will be used over there. So that is the thing which I want to. Of course, now the sovereign, non-sovereign function is come to in a narrow down, but one thing could not be done by the individual. We can say it's a sovereign function. One can be done by the individual, then we cannot say it's a non-sovereign function. Non like uh, like uh, in this, of course, I, I am not a supporter of anybody, but uh, all the nationalized will now becoming a privatized. When you privatized, oh, ho oh, oh. There is no, the private people, MLC, they don't follow the SCSTBC reservation. So if the privatization is there, of course, mixed economy is very good. Some public company should be there, some private company should be there. A competition should be always be allowed. So that will be a good idea. Otherwise, 
people will not act so effectively. So the distinction of the sovereign and non-sovereign function is going to be going to be narrowed down automatically. So the king can do wrong, no wrong is the old principle. Now a king also can be sued like an individual having certain immunity. So these are the things which I want to share it. And uh, companies at 2002, specify that any activity of the government are relatable to the sovereign function of the government, include all the department of the central government dealing with the atomic energy, space, defense, and currency are excluded from the acts per view. Yes, because those are all come under the sovereign functions. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Establishing, yeah. Establishing a distinction between the sovereign and non-sovereign function becomes uh, inevitable. Now, of course, there is a there is there is some rack. Sir, cat enta lavai na puli galle do. Are you following me? Yes, sir. So that is the reason a cat is cat and a lion is lion. So the point is here. Of course, attitude should change. No, it can it can it can kill the lion also because it depends upon the attitude and depend upon the strategy. So now let us see the interpretation sovereign function in the context of the section 2H of Competition Act 2002 exists. The differentiation has to be made with the help of the interpretation of the term has been carried out for the legislation. Suppose the legislation did not keep it in a proper manner, the terminology, then the, it is the judiciary will interpret it and they will say it is null and white or it should be like this. In conclusion, sovereign immunity is a common law doctrine or alienated. But one more case law that I would like to share with you, that is the Ethiopian Airlines case law. In the Ethiopian Airlines case law that I would like to share you. And this is the Ethiopian Airlines versus Gana, Ganesh Narin Savu. That is a, signing a convention of the passing the special statute to give effect to the convention amount to express waiver of immunity. So brief facts. The case related to the delay in the delivery of the consignment received by, by the Dar es Salaam, Tanzania in 1992. Of course, the quality is uh, Ganesh Rana Sabu. He booked the consignment with the Ethiopian Airlines, filed a complaint with the State uh, Consumer Dispute Redressal Commission in Maharashtra and the Consumer Protection Act for the allegedly deficiency of the services by the Ethiopian Airlines. But the ID decided that it is not a sovereign immunity the Ethiopian Airlines will be given because it is doing the commercial function here. Hence, uh, it will be like an individual. It is not a sovereign function. So, the Ethiopian Airlines come under the purview of the Consumer Protection Act in India. The appeal was heard by the division bench. Supreme Court subsequently referred to the larger bench, the case. One of the issues involved was that there was a the view of the provision of the Carriage by Air Act of 1972. The Ethiopian Airlines is deemed to have been submitted to the jurisdiction of the Indian courts for the purpose of the Code of Civil Procedure. Because whenever the, any other country, airlines are functioning in our country, that means they are subject to our Civil Procedure Code. They never claim the immunity. Of course, ambassadors can claim the immunity. High Commissioners, ambassadors, and uh, diplomats, yes, these people can have some immunity. So if anybody wants to sue them, you cannot sue them. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Yes, they have sir. to take the permission of the CIA. In the, in the, there is 86. They have to take the permission of the CPC. Then only you have to sue it. Otherwise, they cannot sue it. Here, I, I told you in here also that if you want to sue the, you have to civil procedure code govern the issue of the foreign state. Section 86, you have to take the permission from the government. Then only you can sue any diplomat is concerned. For the criminal offense also, in any offense also, but generally the diplomat will not indulge in such a criminal offenses. Are you following me? Yes, Ethiopian sir. Airlines. Chusara and Ethiopian Airlines have put on? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. This is the logo, tail logo. Sir, Del Sir. Agar Rase unna di gaan, sir. Yes, sir. Air India. Air India flies to the other countries. What about this one? The logo. Tail logo of a plane. Giraffe. Is it Air Tanzania? It is Air Tanzania. Air Tanzania they introduced now. Air Tanzania this is. What about this logo? Sarmak Delsar Indian Airlines local. <laughs> Can you tell me what about this line? Jamaican sir. Pasan. Ethiopian Airlines. Tail logo. 
the biggest Ethiopian Airlines in the African continent. They do have the several planes, Ethiopian Airlines, Monopoly. What about this one? Sir, sir, I want to instigate you. I want to motivate you. One day you have to sit in all the planes. I sat, I sat in this plane. Yes, I sat the newly introduced disease. Newly introduced. So I did not go over there. Only, only one year is old, that is. Now Indian Airlines, yes, I sat. Ethiopian Airlines, yes, many times I sat. And uh, Itahad, no, I, I did not board Itahad till today. And uh, what about these airlines? South Africa? Sorry. Dubai. 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 Emirates. I sat several times. What about this one? Sir, Kher, Asia, Unadi, Asar, Ya, Kenyan, Ya, Sir, Adi. What about this one? Turkish. Yes, I went to the Turkey also. I sat in this plane. What about this one? I jump on the Class Metro uh -huh. Chat versus uh, New India Hotels Limited case la la A German pilot he dived from the board and he died tetraplex. Then Lufthansa Airways. Lufthansa sir. Lufthansa. What about this one? Qatar. I sat in this plane. I did not sit in the Lufthansa. No, I did not sit. What about this one? Sarmak Del Saridi. Yes? Hello, sir. Saudi Arabia. Arab, Arab Emirates. Saudi Arabia. What about this one? Hawaii, sir. Egyptian Airways. I, I, I boarded in the Egyptian Airways also. What about this one? Pass on, sir. It is Oman Airways. Now I am flying on 24th March, Oman Airways. From Hyderabad to Muscat, Muscat to Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam to Mwanza. I joined as a professor of law in the St. Augustine University of Tanzania. And earlier I worked as an external examiner also several times. So this is the Oman Airways tales. So Ethiopian Airlines is the number one airlines in the African continent. Because it is having the flight, so many flights are there. So now in the next class, what I am going to deal is giant tart liability. Giant tarsus liability. So this is a defense of the sovereign immunity that I have completed. Giant liability, or we can say liability of the giant tart feasors. That I will deal it tomorrow. Then we will see that how much I can finish it before I fly. So these are the things which I want to share with you. And if you want to ask anything, still you do have some, some minutes with in your hand. Yes, sir. Uh, will you continue our classes uh, even after uh, you 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 will fly, sir? See, here I do have the Wi-Fi facility, but I don't know what the facility they do have it because I came to know from there there is no online classes till today. They don't know what is online classes. Okay, sir. They don't know what is online classes there. I said, okay, if I, the the power if the Wi-Fi facility is there, then I can continue my class. The difference between the this. Uh, Tanzania time and India time is we are always two and a and half hour ahead. Suppose okay. now it is uh, say about uh, seven thirty. Let us presume it. There yes, two and a half hours. Now we can count it. It is a four. It will be yeah, it is a four o'clock. Five thirty. Five thirty. So suppose ahead. it will say seven thirty. It is a four o'clock. Four to five one hour. Five to six two hours. Two hours thirty minutes. We are ahead. Okay. Sir. Ahead means fast. Yes, sir. Yes, that is the thing would be there. So, the person value would be known when the person is not in existence. <laughs> it is a yes, human sir. tendency. Pilisi, Pilanite, Vandarantandi? Pulan Thakko. Pulan Thakko, that is Pulan Jedda. So, that is the tendency, it is the human tendency. Eh? But doesn't matter. I don't feel it because my slogan is. What is my slogan? Vidya Dhanam Yes, Anni Dhanam Lakana Vidya Dhanam Minna. If any one student also becomes like this, if one student also sit like this, 
where I sat in several airlines, not with my money, with the other government money. Not with my money. With my money is not sitting. Sitting in the with my money is not a, that much a, a wise idea. But a wise idea, intelligent idea and uh, is we have to travel, not only you, you have to travel with your wife and two children below the age of 18 years, free of cost to the other country. I said other country. I did not say New York. I did not say USA. I did not say any other country. Are you following me? Yes, sir. At least I will yes, see sir. that how many, how many will travel in that way. Government money, I said. Not your money. With government money. Okay, sir. Government we'll money. Yes, that is the more important. And with this, I would like to stop my today class. Tomorrow, just read Joint Library, Todd Fizzle Library, and we'll discuss in the tomorrow class. Let me say the goodbye. Have a good day. Bye. I'll leave the end of the meeting for all. Yeah, it is the Indian tradition that in the beginning or the ending of this any program that we will uh, make the play of the national anthem. Now the national anthem will be.